What's up guys, this is Jay and today I'm going to be teaching you how to color balance or white balance your footage in DaVinci Resolve. I know I made one last year but that was using a gray card. But uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you do it without a gray card? Well guess what? It's right here, right now. So let's do it. First thing you're going to do, upload your image. Create a timeline in DaVinci. Drop that image to the timeline like always and click the color tab. Boom. Let's go ahead and evaluate this scene right here. So you can see, there's an Asian looking guy and he's staring at somebody and it's really intense. And as you can see right off the bat, that this image is really freaking red and we're about to prove that right now by using our video scopes. So let's turn on our video scopes, click view, click video scopes, turn it on, bam. All right, so if you don't understand what these scopes mean, I'm just gonna give you a brief background on it regarding balances, color balances. I'm gonna use these scopes to help me evaluate this image. So visually, visually it looks red, cool. But now we're gonna validate that, we're gonna verify that using our scopes. So first scope we're gonna look at is our waveform sc scope. Now, to me it looks red. If you look at our waveform, you can see that the reds are higher than anything else in here because the red is almost on the top of the waveform, man. So that means it's really red. If you see in a waveform that it's pure white, that means it's ne neutral, it's balanced. That's what you're aiming for, is that whiteness. Because RGB, when they're all combined together, they equal white. White, okay? So that's what you're aiming for. Um, it's impossible to get every single thing neutral just because not everything in life is neutral. Just like this green grass right there, you're just not going to make that neutral. But everything else, you can. I mean, you can make that grass neutral but you're gonna have to do secondaries on it which you know that's later on this is just your primary color balance so looking at the image looking at the scopes yes it's definitely red another scope that i'm gonna use just to verify because i'm paranoid is your parade parade scope looking at the parade scope my guess is also correct it is red because you can see in highlights it's very red it's elevated even the shadows is elevated on the red channel. That means it's red. It's just the higher it is, it's the more color it is. So red is high, that means it's red. So just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go to my third scope. Man, my third scope is gonna be the vector scope. Now this vector scope, looking at this vector scope, if your image, your blob, is um, pointing towards a color, that means that it is, it has a color cast of that color. For example, this blob of white here is pointing towards the red. It's over in the red area. What you want to do with this blob is move it to the center a little bit. Not too much, but you can tell that there's a drastic cast because it's pointing towards red. Um, it's pointing towards red and it's supposed to be a little bit, you know, in the center of it, okay? So all three scopes says it's red. Your eye says it's red, so it must be a red color cast, right? So let's go ahead and try to correct this mess. So the tool that I use to actually color balance is, is the parade because it's just, it just gives me the best representation. But I'm going to flip on the other scopes later on after we balance this image. So looking at this image, I'm going to go ahead and start balancing this. So we said that the highlights are red, so let's go ahead and knock some of those highlights down. So since it's red, the opposite of red is going to be somewhere around blue and cyan. So we're going to go ahead and drag our wheel until we line that up on the top as closely as we can and just mess around with it okay and like um, I said before color balancing is it's up to your taste it's whatever looks right to you okay so l just with that tiny little adjustment there in your game let's do a before and after there's your before and there's your after it's looking a lot better now now the next thing I usually do, since the mids look good to me, it looks, it looks all right because I, I have a reddish skin tone, so I'm not gonna make myself look pure white or pure neutral. So that looks fine, but I am a little bothered. I am worried about the shadows. It's the red is a little bit elevated still. You can see the blue here. It's just, you know, all the way at the bottom. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a touch in the shadow portion of it because I, I like. I like shadows. I like I like black shadows. I don't like 
colored shadows. It looks weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and even out the bottom as well. And just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny adjustment, which I'm looking really close, maybe a little bit more to the blues. So that looks fine for me now. And let's go ahead and do our before and after. That's the before, the red, and there is the color balanced image. We're going to go ahead and revisit our scopes. Let's go to our waveform. You can see that there's more neutral, even this right here, which is the darkest part of the image, is white now because it's neutral. And your whites are definitely neutral now, which is really nice. You see these spikes here. It's, it correlates to this stair handle things, which is white. That's good. The only thing that we can really balance in the primary color balance is, like I said, is the green because that has too much information, too much color. But the blacks and the whites, they can be neutralized because a black is black and a white is white, correct? Um, to me, on this image, the balance looks good. So I'm done with the balance, but that don't mean that you're done with this image. Pr primary color balance is just the beginning. It's just a pre-step um, before you start, you know, color grading and you know, doing messing with the contrast and stuff like that, which um, I will show you guys if you are interested. But for now, I'm just, you know, taking it step at a time. And right now, color balance seems pretty important to people. So hope you guys learned something there. Um, and if you have any questions, just ask. Oh, and by the way, just a bonus. Just a bonus. Uh, if you are using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera or a Blackmagic Cinema camera or RED, any video uh, cameras that shoot raw, this is how you would fix a color balance. So I would turn that off, and all you have to do is actually mess with your color temperature. So if you have a raw uh, camera, raw footage, all you have to do is mess with the color temperature. So you will go to your scopes and just start balancing them. So you can see here, I'm going to start messing with my color balance, you know, and just that's pretty much it if you have raw and that's done you know I got the same result because I got raw and just by adjusting the color temperature of raw you can also color balance so um, there you go I hope you guys learned something again like I said if you have any questions let me know and see you guys later